Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the logout view. And at this one, when a user is already logged in, we're going to go ahead and log them out just by clicking a button. So that's really going to be amazing to make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification. And also you want to get the templates, check out the link in the description. They should point you to the right direction to get a template and you're going to be coding along. And yeah, that's going to be it. So to make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, as you all know, this is the guide that we are working with over here. We've got the logout system. Now, we need to write a simple view that's going to be called logout view. And that one's going to be to log out as a user. So I'm going to come over to my code editor. And just down here, I'm going to create a new view. I'm going to say define. And you could call this one whatever you want, but I'm going to call it logout view. So um, I'm just going to get over here to the top. And I want to grab one of these and um just down here i'm gonna paste it and this should be logout view right so in here we should pass in requests okay so that's a parameter take note you could also pass in some like bananas over here but whenever you want to create a url you want to make sure to pass in something that's going to supplement these bananas like an like a string or something okay don't worry we're going to be doing a whole lot of that in this video and you're all going to understand what's going to be happening so um when you've done this the next thing that you could do is go ahead and import a very 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 simple method or i'd call it function that's going to help us log out so that one is going to be called logout and actually it's going to be coming from django.contrib.off hopefully i still remembered that's called logout okay so now remember when we imported the login the authenticate now the logout so what do you think we could do we could just call this our right and we could put it over here and that's gonna work exactly the same way okay so when this is done um all we need to do is just come over here and when this is called the method logout now what do we need to pass in in here we simply want to go ahead and pass in requests because request is whatever user that's logged in right now simple as that now when a user gets logged out where we want to send them to let's send them back to the sign in page right because they might also want to sign back in maybe they logged out by mistake and they want to get back in immediately so that's why we're going to be sending them to the sign in page as simple as that that's it now we're just going to come over to the urls and i'm going to duplicate this one Control cv is going to du duplicate it when you are on the line and for this one i'm going to change this to logout view that's what we call it in the views.py and this one is going to be signed out and that should be it so um i think we want to display one simple message whenever we log a user out so i'm just going to come over here and i'm going to grab this message hopefully you guys can't wait for the next video where we're going to go ahead and start talking about a lot so that we're going to be seeing all those cool message features that we've implemented in action so this one is going to be success and that's going to be you we are logged out you have logged out or something like that you logged out okay simple as that and um i think that's gonna be it now we already have a url in the urls the poi now all we need to do is just um hop over to our base remember we've got this base html and we need to look for a button that's gonna be called log out or maybe it's sign out let's look for that sign out okay this is it sign out now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna grab this and i'm gonna create a url tag over here open up to curly brackets pass into percentage signs in there pass in the url that must be called the url and not bananas or peanuts not whatever you want and over here i'm just gonna call the name of the url that i have and the name of the url remember i called it sign dash out and which one is the sign out that i'm passing in over there the sign out is pretty much this one okay this is supposed to be sign out so whatever is here that's what you should pass in here okay so when this is done now let's come over here and refresh our website and um that's working perfectly well but remember when i told you guys that over here i just want to show you all something remember when i said over here that you could pass in peanuts right as parameter now if you come over here and refresh it's gonna say hey come on i'm looking for peanuts 
you should also give me some peanuts but that's because we haven't called the logout view so whenever we come over here and we call the sign out view then what do you notice there is a problem so it says logout view missing one required positional arguments peanuts okay so to satisfy this you simply want to come over to user auth take note this is not necessary i'm just doing it to show you guys something okay now over here i'm just going to pass in peanuts so this peanuts over here is pretty much the peanuts that we've got in here okay so i'm going to be trying my possible best to explain everything to you guys and play around with it um as much as i can okay so that's it we signed out it says page doesn't exist that's because over here we need to um i'm gonna get back and i'm gonna come over to account over here and i'm gonna hit sign out okay page doesn't exist and that's because it's gonna be looking for the peanuts remember it's gonna be looking for the peanuts keyword okay so right now what do you notice it's actually working perfectly well but as you guys can see it's looking for all these arguments and i don't want to get anyone confused because i'm st i still want to keep things pretty easy so for now just make sure that you get rid of the peanuts gently get rid of the peanuts and also over here you want to get rid of the parameter called peanuts okay so um that should be it guys now if i come over here Hopefully my terminal is still running. Let's let me take a close look at my terminal. And um, okay, where is that? I think I went all the way to the to the top. That's it. Start running perfectly well. So if I come over here and I refresh this page, it's looking great, right? But if I come over to account and I sign out, what do you think is gonna happen? It successfully signs me out and it brings me to the login page. So guys, that's it. The authentication is working perfectly well. But for the crate here, we need to go ahead and configure all those ones. For example, the sign in here, don't have an account yet. Then we wanna go ahead and um, redirect them to the sign up page whenever someone wants to click on that link to create an account so i'm gonna say sign up and you know i'm feeling kind of lazy so i'm just gonna copy this link so i don't have to you know type it out every other place now i'm gonna rush back to the sign up i remember we've got this one that is um login already have an account so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna paste this in here and i'm gonna change this one to sign in okay so when this is done i'm going to show you guys one more thing then we're going to go ahead and round up this video so now when we create here it brings us to the create account when we log in it takes us to the login account so now i'm just going to create a real quick account and so you guys will see what's going to happen so as you guys can say i created this account that's the email wherever at millionator.com and i'm going to go ahead and submit and register and as you can see it locks me in so over here um, I could sign out, right? That's that's pretty great. But if I come over here, now I'm already signed out, but why does it still keep showing the sign out button? That doesn't make any sense, right? And if you if you hear the sign out button, it doesn't make any sense because it's just gonna keep bringing you over here. So in order to fix that, you wanna head back to the base. Remember the sign out thing. You wanna simply check if a user is signed out, then show them a login button but if a, if a user is logged in, then showing them a sign out button. So how do we achieve that? It's quite easy. I'm just going to say if um, that should be request.user.isAuthenticated, request.user.isAuthenticated, that means a user is logged in, right? Then what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and show them a login button. But if a user is not authenticated, which means a user is not logged in, we want to go them. We want to go ahead and do what? And show them a sign out page. So I'm just gonna copy the sign out and I'm gonna paste it at the top over there. And um, for this one, I'm just gonna call this one. If a user is logged in, I'm gonna show them sign out. If a user is not logged in, I'm gonna show them sign in. So for this one, just change it real quick to sign in. And um, I think that's gonna be it, guys. But this is F I R S sign out. But I want to change one to sign in, so I'm just gonna say this should be sign in. Hopefully that looks great. Now I'm refreshing this. Okay, that's it. Now as you can see, show sign in. So now we could come over here, sign in. Remember the mail little email that I created? Uh oh, I lost it already. So I don't think I have that any longer. But if I come over here now, I log in and um open this up now what do you notice is a sign out i think that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me 
and also if you got a couple bucks to spare check out my youtube membership joining this really gonna mean the world to me you want to get the templates check out the links in the description below they should point you to the right direction of getting the templates and i hope i'm gonna see you guys in the next video where we're gonna go ahead and start talking about the elats in Django. that one is gonna be pretty cool i want to see you guys there until then mad love peace out